anvil adjustment, tools required, feeler gauge, torque wrench, ratchet, 15 16 inch socket, 3 quarter inch end wrench, lockout tag out. Always wear proper clothing and personal protective equipment. Clothing should be close fitting and tucked in. Hard hat, eye and ear protection must be worn while working on the chipper. All eye protection must be OSHA approved and should consist of safety glasses with side shields, goggles, or a flip-down visor that may be plastic or mesh. Wear a sturdy pair of work pants and a good pair of steel-toed work boots with non-slip soles. Proper fitting gloves are also recommended to protect the worker's hands. To begin, start your chipper and raise the yoke. Insert the yoke lock pin and then turn off engine. Warning. Always perform the lockout tagout procedure before working on your chipper. Serious injury or death could occur if someone accidentally starts the engine. Next, locate the high knife by rotating the drum and checking each knife using a feeler gauge. Once the high knife is found, check the knife to anvil clearance, making sure it's no less than 40 thousandths at its tightest location and no greater than 90 thousandths at its lowest location. If the knife to anvil clearance does not fall within these measurements, please follow the next set of instructions. If you have a disc style chipper, the anvil is located curbside, just over the fender. On a drum style chipper, the anvil is located underneath the chipper, in between the feed wheel and drum area. Please note that drum style anvil adjustment is best handled by two people. Once the anvil is located, inspect the anvil. If it is worn, you can remove and rotate. Please note the anvil can only be turned four times to achieve a new surface. After four turns, discard and replace with a new one. Next, if the anvil is in good condition, loosen the anvil bolts using a ratchet and 15 16 inch socket. Do not remove these bolts, you only need to loosen the anvil enough to allow it to move while making your adjustments. Then, using a 3 quarters inch end wrench, loosen the adjustment locking nuts. Turn the adjustment bolt to close the gap on the anvil, then re-tighten the locking nut. Make sure that you tighten the locking nut every time you make an adjustment to the anvil. Check the anvil clearance. If the anvil doesn't fall within the required clearance, repeat the process. Once the high knife falls in the required specification, rotate the drum and check that all knives meet the required minimum of 40 thousandths. Next, tighten the anvil bolts to the proper torque and remove the lockout tag out. Finally, start the engine, raise the yoke, and remove the yoke lock pin. Your chipper is now ready for operation.